Okay, we're on the last part of the dryer upcycle project. This is project number five. Okay, Russell's marking these two boards to find the center. The last project is going to be a, a sign that you can use. Um, we could use it here or you could use it like in a store uh, for the holidays. And it would be easy to uh, change it after the holidays to suit whatever your purpose might be to use it for. Okay. Ooh. Uh, this is some of the hardware that we have. Okay. You got the middle for that? Yes. Right there. It's a 14 and a half. Right. Go ahead and drill the holes for that. And I'm going to take these off. This is what we're going to use on the sides. One's broken. Paid a dollar ninety nine for it. But they they look hand forged. Look how they're how they're cut right here and hammered right here. I, you know I don't know. They don't look like a um, a mass produced item. It looks like a hand forged item. Could be a replica. I don't know. But we're going to use that one there and one there. That look good. Yeah, that's the way it goes right there. Yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to paint the boards. The um, these these boards are they're very very old. Uh, we had an opportunity to tear a barn down for a client, and we got a lot of wood off that. It was really more like a little workshop garage. It was very small, but um. Me and Russell, we tore it down, and we hauled it all home on the little um, on the little Chevy S10 truck. I think it's on the um, skill saw. He's looking for the battery for the drill motor. But uh, we hauled it all home on a little Chevy <laughs> S10 truck. We had boards hanging everywhere. Boards hanging everywhere, and I wouldn't leave a piece of it, boys. I just love this wood, and we've used it for so many different projects around here. <laughs> Got down on it. <laughs> Look, it made a little flower. <laughs> but anyway, when when we were when we were tearing this barn down, um, a guy came by and said, "Hey, w would you let me get one piece of that wood?" We said, "Sure." He said, uh, "I have a house built out of that type of wood over in the historic district in Camden, and I just need one piece of board." He said, "Yeah, get that one and grab you a few more." But you can tell it's the it's like the tongue and groove mm -hmm. or ship lap, some people call it. And, but it, it really looks like it was hand plane. I don't know, it might not be, but it looks like it was hand plane. And we are down to the little teeny pieces now, so. And that that um, hardware piece there reminds me of like a going up the uh, Ebenezer Scrooge's door, <laughs> tap 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 tap, or or the uh, Santa's workshop, tap 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 tap. It's a pretty piece. And then these going beside it are gonna really give it the rest of that the rest of that look. I wish this one wasn't broke, but. I think it's going to look good. And we'll, we'll probably change it up after Christmas, put something else on it. But I was telling uh, Russell earlier, I said, well, we could use it for, um, you could put dog, you know, like for dogs. Or instead of reindeer parking, we could change it to goat parking and put it up there in our goat pen. 
my daughter's been talking about putting a, a leash on the little boy goat and walking him around like a dog because he's so spoiled. Oh, that looks good, baby. That looks good. Okay. Get these off. We're going to screw the hardware to the boards, and then we're going to screw the boards to that. This one. That one's broke. <clears throat> Those are so pretty. All right, there's. So you put one there and then come in on the second one and put there. And they'll be the same distance apart from the end. All right, let's go with it. Okay, so I don't need to drill anything Look, here. Look, this is kind of rocky. Okay. Well, I think it'll be okay. We can go back to the first one. I think it'll be okay. Now we do have some vinyl lettering we're going to use on this. My daughter and son-in-law, they uh, printed it out for me with the black vinyl. We still have a lot to learn, that vinyl machine. At one time I could run it, but. Seem to be struggling with it now, but I'm going to pick it back up. There's a chicken again. Everybody had. <laughs> Stinker. Guess what? That little screw went through. Uh-oh. None of the other ones did. All right, we'll back it up a little bit. One on the top. Still through. Try that one. got to get these two boards attached to this. Where's that other screw that we had to do that with? That's it. Didn't we have another screw to screw these to this? No, I hadn't got those yet. We thought we had uh, three like this. Oh, I know where some more of them are right over here. I'll get them. Talk to one of them. going to put the tongue and groove together see how it just fits together like that and then put it here I'll bring it down so y'all can see it a little bit better okay let's line that up okay. are we going to screw these from the back in or from yeah, here out from the back into the wood Okay. So this is how we want it. So let's do the top one first and take this one. Okay. Is 
you going to go all the way through? Well, that one will, but I don't think this one will. You ready? Yeah. I'm going in at the bottom now. Okay. You got to push in at the bottom. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know which bottom you were talking about. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna put one more down here on the same side. Okay. Oh, that went through. Take that one out. Same size. Okay. That has some shorter ones. I think all of those are the same size. Okay. Well, we're going to have to find some short ones. All right, then. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We had to go. I had to go find some more smaller screws. I think these are going to work. All right. We'll hold right there. That's pretty tight. Let's get the top one on. Okay. This one's only got two holes. We have to create holes on that side. Come in on this side first. I see it, okay. Perfect. It's okay. Secure. Yeah, that's good. Alright, let's put our lettering on. Can you still see it? Is that too much? Is that too bright? I'm staying here. Come out, okay, so we're gonna get a piece of transfer paper. And transfer these letters. That is a uh, chicken's over there digging up our daffodils. That says reindeer parking. I don't know if you can see it. South Pole, uh, North Pole Coffee Shop. We should have put an uh, established on it, shouldn't we? Where was um? We could put what year we were established here, couldn't we? Twenty um twenty eight twenty thirteen. Yeah, we need to put established right there, or something right there. Have we got a little reindeer? Well, when you dig back through these little bags of goodies, I don't think there was one in there that I can remember. But I'm sure somewhere in our stash, Oh yeah. we got one. Oh, yeah. Oh, we could just put a bow there, a little bow. Okay. What about that? That'd be fine. Oh, if we had a burlap bow, that'd be pretty with these curls. Uh-huh. Yep, that it would. Okay. I can remember how to do this. That's a letter. We're looking for um, transfer paper. That's a piece right there. Okay. Okay, so we got the letters cut out. There you go. And we want to use the transfer paper over the letters. Rubbing that. Okay. That's going to be enough. I'm doing it right. I got my, I got my, uh, what advisor, do you call it? Advisors. I got my advisors and, uh, what do you call it when you got computer trouble and you have to call, oh, I got my IT and my, um, uh, 
consultants behind the camera. <laughs> Okay, so all right, keep the fingers crossed. That should come off with that transfer paper. I look straight here. I think it's going up here. That is asked up to higher. Yeah, it's going up here a little bit. Right, that looks it. good. Okay. Right, and hold this one. Go ahead and start rubbing that the each letter, Wilson. Just start peeling it. Is that what you said? Or rub it? Rub it. Rub it. in the middle. No. Mm -mm. I got a crazy question. Sign at the North Pole or the South Pole? North Pole. North Pole? Okay. <laughs> she did turn a year older yesterday. I'm not talking about the shop. A little more space. Yeah. Alright, don't smash it till we see the Lewis one in the middle. Say that's pretty close. It's close enough for me. All right, let's put it on. There.
Come back and look at it. Something right there. Like you said, a bow. Maybe a, uh, what do you call it? That. I can't remember. Burlap bow. Burlap. Couldn't think of burlap. I think that would be pretty. Okay. We'll be right back. We're going to find a bow. While we were looking for the ribbon, we found this Old World Santa, and so we decided to go with that. All we have left to do now is glue the Santa. Spray a little bit of this um, polyacrylic on it for a little bit of protection. Especially on this old wood, um, just in case it has anything in this old paint. I'm going to seal that in. Okay, and I'm going to go over the letters a little bit. Okay, I'm going to hang it on the wall and let you see how it looks up there, okay? What do you think? I just love the hardware on it. Can you see that hardware? I just love that. That's so pretty. I don't know why I didn't use that before. <laughs> okay. Stay tuned for the next big project. <laughs>